morning, I want to introduce you to uh, Kyle Maynard. He was born 25 years ago with no arms and no legs. Now, you might think that was going to slow him down, but I'll tell you what, you'd be wrong. Kyle Maynard is climbing to the top of Georgia's Stone Mountain. Bear crawling, almost a thousand feet. Maynard is a congenital quadruple amputee. He was born without arms or legs. His parents knew the world wasn't set up for him, but they weren't going to let his disability set him apart. They raised me with that attitude that like, they weren't going to treat me any different. So like any other little kid, Maynard played sports, even joining the football team in sixth grade. And I loved it because I get to hit somebody in every play. He took up wrestling when football became too intense and stuck with it even after losing his first 35 matches. After high school, Maynard became an accomplished mixed martial arts fighter. And he also wrote a book, the best-selling memoir, No Excuses. But a whirlwind book tour left him feeling exhausted and low. I got to a point where I was ready to quit speaking. Then a chance encounter with two disabled veterans who were wounded in Iraq changed his mind. They made a suicide pact with one another. They said that they, when they the day that they did that, they happened to see my story on HBO, and that's what got him to stop. He regrets never getting their names, but says those veterans re-energized him. So instead of quitting, he continued, crisscrossing the country, sharing his story again and again. I know it's going to be tough. And they inspired him to try for yet another milestone, scaling Africa's Mount Kilimanjaro. Why Kilimanjaro? It's, it's exactly because it is the opposite end of the, ex the spectrum. Maynard will hike with a team that includes two other disabled veterans. Their goal? To show the world that no obstacle is too hard to overcome. Today's hike up Stone Mountain is part of his training for the Kilimanjaro trek. And despite his rudimentary equipment, it only takes him an hour and a half from the bottom to the top. When people see me, they might think that, like, you know, a guy born without arms and legs or doesn't have arms and legs, like, that must be the worst thing that ever happened to him. And I think that that is the greatest gift I've ever been given.